fighter weapons instructor pilot with 410 Tactical Fighter Operational Training Squadron in Cold Lake, Alberta. He's been flying for nine years and has logged more than 1,200 hours on the Hornet. The Hornet is a multi-role fighter attack aircraft equally capable of combat and air-to-air -air and air-to-ground missions. The Hornet carries radar-guided AIM-7M Sparrow missiles, heat-seeking AIM-9 Sidewinder missiles, an internally mounted 20-millimeter cannon that sprays bullets at a rate of 100 rounds per second. On top of these air-to-air -air weapons, the CF-18 is capable of dropping a variety of air-to-ground guided and unguided weapons with pinpoint accuracy and has no beverage holders. The Hornet's twin General Electric F-404 engines produce a combined thrust of 32,000 pounds in afterburner, and its superior maneuverability makes the CF-18 one of the most outstanding fighters in the world today. CF-18. Ladies and gentlemen, 
Stand by for the square loop. He repositions the CF-18 Hornet now. We'll be dropping down to begin the square loop here very shortly. Down onto the show line now. Dropping down, building up speed and energy. With a 7G pulled to the vertical, Captain Scott Greeno will begin the square loop. center stage, he'll be doing just 125 miles per hour. While passing center stage, he's going to light the afterburners again and accelerate vertically. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the high alpha pass. Is a little darker blue than what we can see. And he 
Ray's heading back down now for some more zoom and boom. Rich's incredible pyro are giving us a thumbs up. Out front, we're going to get a series passes more from the CF-18 Hornet and help us light things up. Stand by, it's going to get loud here in the next few seconds. speed again, somewhere around 500, 550, 600 miles an hour again. You want some more, folks? Fog is definitely up for it. Rich's incredible pyro is ready. Have your cameras ready. This is going to be fun. Right there. Oops, I'm sorry. Okay. From the right. Pitching up. Rolling over, taking a look at the airfield as if he were attacking it, folks. Getting ready for a strafing run. Here comes the CF-18 Hornet. He's off to the left and inbound again. Rich is incredible pyro, ready to. Be ready. 600 miles an hour. sunburn, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, man. They have a contest in the state to see how quick you can get to fight your uh, 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 brick. On behalf of Commanding Officer Lieutenant Colonel Al Stevenson, the men and women of 410 Cougar Squadron and Canadian Forces Four Wing Cold Lake, Alberta, Captain Greeno thanks you for your enthusiasm toward the CF-18 Hornet demonstration. He hopes you have enjoyed it as much as he enjoyed flying it, and he'll be back for more tomorrow, day two. And there's lots more coming this afternoon as well. It just keeps getting better and better and better, and we wind it up with the snowbirds later this afternoon. The Hornet will be landing in front of us. Check out this wonderful Millennium paint scheme, a wonderful commemoration, including our hopes of peace around the world as peacekeepers, the Canadian forces, taking a giant step and leading the world this way, included in this paint job are the names of over 2,000 children. And I hope you get a chance to see it close up later when it's parked on the hot ramp near the fence. You won't be able to cross the fence to see it, unfortunately, but it will probably be close enough to the fence that you'll get a chance to see this commemorative paint job that has taken so long, painstakingly beautiful job that they've done at the air base in Alberta, and uh, including all of those children's names as we begin a new era, the new millennium, with the Canadian forces of the CF-18. Tomorrow. In fact, if you wave, he'll wave back. I think he can do that with the CF-18, and I think he wants to do that. He's going to give, in fact, the CF-18 Hornet salute. As you can see, one wing being lifted up now in the salute. 